Hello, this video I will show you how to generate uh, a power flow to uh, do a process of uh, leave request. So first, I create a simple form. It has uh, two, uh, three questions. The name of the staff, the department of the staff, and uh, the date of uh, he asked for a leave request. So when a staff submit this request, we are using a power flow to send the email to the department manager. And the department manager will receive email and based on his decision to approve or reject the request. If he, the manager approved the request, we'll send another email to the HR, our financial department, and uh, also send the email to the staff. Let them know it is uh, approved. If the manager reject the request, we only send the email to the staff and let him know the reason the manager rejected the request. Okay, so let's do it. So we add a new flow. We'll do automatic cloud flow. Let's give it the name test. <coughs> so the first one, we select Microsoft Forms when a new response is submit. Select this one, create. So when a new response is submitted from the Microsoft form, we need to pick up the form name. The form name is a request for leave. Then we add a new action. So the next action we are using is uh, from the form, Microsoft form. Get response details. We'll get all the details of the questions. So form ID, we say select the same form, request for leave. Okay, we're using the same form. Response ID, we select response ID here. And then we add another step. This step will add a control. So it's a front control. And we are using a switch control. So why are we using switch control? So the value we're using the department. So that means when user select R&D, that's case one. When the user select accounting, that's case two. So we based on the different answer. If the answer is R&D, we send the email to R&D manager. If the answer is accounting, we send it to our accounting manager, ask for approval. Okay. <coughs> so if the user select R&D, we add action. Search start and wait. Okay, wait for approval. So 
So if the staff has uh, more than one manager, all of them must approve when we select this one. So in my case, only one manager, okay, so forced to uh, respond. It's okay. That means if he has more than one manager, only one of the manager approve, then we go to the next step. Okay, so we select this one. And the title, we send the email, the email title. So we select the name, staff, staff name, request for leave. Assign to, that's the email address. We'll send the email to the manager of R&D. Okay, so we select the manager's name. Details, that's the details within the email. So we'll input all the information from here. Okay, so in this case, we only need the name and the date for here, request for leave. Hello, here, here is the leave request details. Name of the staff. Answer to this question, okay? <coughs> And uh, here the name is this question's uh, that's a form of the fourth question, okay? So next we'll add a date. So the date is leave request date, the date answer this answer, okay? Then we add another control. So if the manager receives this email, he has the option to approve or reject. So if approve, let's add another control. We select condition. So if the manager outcome approve or reject is equal to approve A P P R O V E, okay? If yes, uh, he approved, we send the email, we search email. Because we are using Office 365, we select this one and we send an email V2. We send the email back to the user first, who send this form, submit this form. So that's the responder's email. And also, we add a semicolon, semicolon and uh, send it to the HR email, okay? That's a uh, HR email address, okay? And subject is you leave request was outcome approved because it's yes approved approved by the response approval name so that's actually that's the 
manager of R&D's name. Okay. <coughs> Your re leave request was approved by response by the manager's name for this. Uh, we can copy the details. Here is the details. Name. Who sent this response? Who sent this form? Who submit this form? The name of the staff and the date. Oh, sorry. What's the date he asked for leave? Okay. So we finish this part. And if no, the manager reject this request. We only need to send the email. A search email. Office 365 Outlook and send a email v2 we send this email only because we the manager reject so we only send the email to the staff same thing you you need request was was the outcome actually here the outcome is reject by who who reject that's the manager's name who responds this request and uh, because the manager when he reject he need the uh, input the comments so that's why Here is the reason, okay? The reason is the comments. Scroll down to the very last one, response comments. Comments added by the approval. So that's the reason <coughs> the manager reject, oh, reject this request, okay? So same thing for the accounting. We do the same thing as uh, R&D. And also default, we add another, uh, uh, another uh, control. So this control will email to support team because uh, some in some case they didn't select the department of uh, some error message will send the ticket to the support team and uh, told them what's happened what's the error message okay so that's all for the microsoft flow so here we have another question how about we get the user's name automatically? Because he, the, the staff need to log in to Microsoft 365 to submit this form. So we should automatically get the staff's name. And also, if, if when you create the user, the staff, you if you already input the staff's manager so you actually don't need these two questions what's the user what's the department and uh, what's his uh, manager so the user when he submit uh, a form he only needs the last question what's the date he requests for the leave so next video I will show you how to get the s submit form 
username and how to get the user's manager's email address automatically. So in this case, our flow will be simple. We get the form response details. Then we send the email. We just need, we don't need this switch. We can delete that <coughs> and add a new step. Start a pool. We only need to start and waiting for approve. Approve type, same thing. And here, the title, we're using the same thing. We get the user's name directly and not use the name he input here. We don't need these two questions. And assign to the manager we get the manager's name directly from the Microsoft's user's details. Okay, so next video I will show you how to do that. Hope you